All right, so let's give this five minutes. Gotta get rid of that antsy feeling of feeling like I have to be in a trade. And when it leaves without me, I'm missing it. But in reality, when you look at the RSI on the 30 minute, we're in the squeeze and we're at almost the midpoint. Same with 15 minute over here in the squeeze. Five minutes also in the squeeze. The 512 tick is also in the squeeze. There's more strength to the upside right now. But we're having trouble staying above 7,700 on the NQ. The real trail was at the 87 area. We might fire out of squeeze RTY is pushing above its resistance at 1482.9. See what happens at the open. So loud. Wow. So where's the open? Leave. Open was 96 half. This is where I thought we would jump from this 93. See if I can get it along at 93. This is where I originally wanted to get in. So I'll try with one contract, see if we hold this consolidation area. I'm going to add another one. Let's see here. I'll get out at the 98. I'm going to go to lock the lock a point right now. Oh, I'm already out. Oh. Trying to lock a point. There's a lot of volatility right now. Okay, I locked the points. Let me see if I can move this guy up. See if I can get out at uh, 99. Let's take 98. Okay, I'm already out. A lot of volatility. So that 93 was something I was looking at getting long at because of the look on the 512 tick. We're making higher highs, higher lows. Also, five minute chart. It was the open and close of these candles right here. This 30 minute chart. Looks like we're going to break the 7700. It's looking like we're going to go up here. Six seventy six ninety seven. I don't know why my boss is not updating. So we're still making higher highs, higher lows. A lot of buying coming in right at open, maintaining this uptrend. So right now I would say we're bullish as long as we maintain the low, the opening range low. Yeah, this is pretty bullish, I would say. Ninety eight areas of interest to me now. It's 
7701. Let's see if we get in there. It's also, let's see here, these guys. To get up to, yeah, maybe 10 points on this one. I don't think I'm gonna get that fill. Nope. Ninety six. See if I can go along with these tops of these candles. It's around seventy seven hundred. See if it yeah, filled me. So I'm going to be aggressive moving my stop here. Just because. Let's see what the low of this. I'm going to move it according to this tick chart. But I locked in two points already. I'm going to lock in three. I've got five. Let me take. Let me lock in five. See if she keeps going. Uh-oh, we froze. I think I just got hit on my 10-point target. Yep, I believe so. But I can't tell because Rhythmic just froze. Yep, got my 10-point target. And that will be all for me today. I'm happy with that $400. First five minutes, looks like the NQ might break out here. Gotta clear the 77.15. Let me see if I can bring up, here we go, nice. Yeah, I gotta fill it almost at the low of that candle at the 7701. I'll take it. Overnight high, 77.15. Gonna take a lot to clear this 50 day SMA. There's gonna be a lot of stop losses, I would say, above the high yesterday. Maybe even. The 7740 area on NQ. Above there, we might pop. Oh, this, I'm not going to sit on my hands here because we might fire out of the squeeze, but I don't like taking the trade right at the trend line. I would rather let it break, let it come back, retest, hold, then get into it. We're trying to fire out of the squeeze on the 15 minute, the 30 minute. And five minutes firing right now. Let's send my trading friend Kristen a message. I was trading one lots. Where would I get in here? Seventy-seven hundred, seventy-seven oh two, seventy-seven oh four might be a. Yeah, see that's why I don't jump in. This area has to hold on NQ, and it's just blasting right through, just dumping. This is the area I would have gotten along somewhere in here. But if we don't clear so two now, we have an issue. Yeah, a lot of longs trapped trying to chase that breakout. 
once they get stopped out oh that's what what happens when the everyone's getting stopped out down here in the upper 7600s then all the smart people are buying where i was thinking of buying to get that bounce up Good morning, good morning. So I'm already done trading. I took, well, I had one trade last night in the Globex and then two, one right before opening, or actually two on NQ right, right at the open. We're in a nice uptrend on all time frames, mainly five minute and the tick chart. Missed another trade just now because I already up $420, so I just stopped trading. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I'm recording this. Looks like we're gonna break out on the NQ. Financial juices tick order flow thing is going off every time that there's a solid move going up or down, it's starting to tick a lot. Kinda like it. So, looks amazing. Let's see if I can turn this around. I got in at the 93, pretty much on this retest candle. Or actually it was on, where are we open and closed here on that retest? Because it's the first 30 minutes, still haven't even closed yet. Got out for five points on one, got back in at 77.01 because of this on the tick chart right there got in and that i got wicked in right there on that orange line got out for 10 points on the second one so 420 bucks i think nq might be it's crazy what the daily chart looks like right on the 50 day sma and the 116 trying to fire out of the squeeze on the NQ and all the indices actually. The five minutes actually firing right now. It's two dots out. All oh, other time frames are in the squeeze too. And by the way, I'm gonna come up with some ideas for our trading room to help people that are beginners learn, learn this beautiful art and make some money doing so so they can acquire a, li a lifelong skill that they'll always have an ability to grow their money, not depend on other people. I'm gonna put this video on YouTube. Have a good day. All right, guys, I'm out of here. There's no point in trying to trade anymore. It's the beauty of trading. You can be done one or two trades in less than 10 minutes, sometimes less than a minute. Get on with your day. There's no need to be greedy. Let's take a look at the trade activity log really quick. What was that? Two trades today. So I do statistics. This is not including last night's five point trade. So the second trade was a two R trade and the first one was was a one R. So I risk a hundred dollars a trade. Just to get paid, then I'll hold it a little bit longer. Be aggressive. Yeah. Loving it. So, all right, everyone have a great day. Manage that risk, get paid before you start getting a little greedy. After you get paid, to do what I did on that second trade and trail the stop aggressively as the trade's working and 
try to make a little bit more. Peace.